because Logan <laughs> did kiss Rogue. So Gambit has... He's been really busy. He's even had to put with a robot who was um, in disguise as Lady Deathstrike. Ugh, who wants to fight her? I don't want to fight her. If she wanted to fight with me, Miss Gartner, Bass. So, do you know what I'm really sad about Gambit when he tried to kiss Rogue? It's a final battle. Is that they had to kiss like this? Through a space helmet because they couldn't physically touch. <coughs> it was quite sad. I shouldn't laugh. Sorry, Gambit, if you're watching. <laughs> What else? I mean, he's been linked with Emma Frost and Fox, and he's a bit of a, a ladies' man. The best thing about Gambit is the Horseman Apocalypse. So, basically, if you want to know a bit more about Gambit, please do read The Horseman of the Apocalypse. It has Gambit in it, Banshee, Wolverine, the Archangel. I mean, he is a key role and a lot to do with his conquest and war. He is a ladies' man. That doesn't affect his ability to be fucking super cool, though. End of. I just have a little fact that I want everybody to do. I want you all to do this if you're a geek and you need to read X-Men versus Dracula. It just dawned on me. I just have this stupid remembrance of the X-Men and Dracula. I literally pissed myself a bit when I read that. It was in 2006 uh, with my homeboy... Vlad Tepas, I've got his tattoo as well, Dracula, because it, that, that comic just made me super stoked, so you've got your X-Men, and you've got fucking Dracula, oh, go read it, if you like vampires, which I do, sorry Twilight, I said vampires, vampires, then it, it kind of, to read it, mixed in with the X-Men, just was super exciting that gave me proper geek status back in 2006 time whoa horsemen of the apocalypse okay so there's batman spider-man um i absolutely adore spider-man he's he's on my too i love him so much um the superman isn't there and there's wonder woman I don't want to mention the, let's say, obvious people, because we should know, really, why they're so cool anyway. We don't need to go into depth about them. So they're ultimate, definitely, but there's no point, because they're so famous. They've made it. All right, there's no need to show off now, Batman. Calm down. You've done it. I don't need to mention them. Last but not least, I would like to mention Blade, Marvel's Blade. He never gets any attention or recognition. And it's about time that he did because he is, his first appearance was in Dracula, the Tomb of Dracula in 1973. And I like vampires and I like Vlad Tepas and I like gothic elements brought to me in my stories. And he's really good at martial arts. He's called Eric Brooks. Now, what happened was when his mother was giving birth, she was fed upon, so some of the vampire enzymes were still left 